He, he is the best Warflame player in the world by his own standard. I don't know what that says exactly, but it says something. And they do have that Elder Titan, which we feel like has been overperforming. I, I also really liked uh, seeing this combo last time, the Elder Titan Kunkka. Yeah, that, that did work. That did a way more damage than I expected. And it was Shopify playing it, so yeah. using their own strat against them. I think their lineup has a lot. I think it has decent synergy. It has a lot of team fight firepower within it. Solid scaling. I think Morphling can carry this game. You can get stolen Astrals and stuff too. Pretty obnoxious. The downside is it is a bit of a clunky lineup again, and I, I can see them struggling on lanes. I, I, I think this Mars Hoodwink lane is just... Should have a freebie. Morph ET is a weird lane, but generally it's not going to win versus a lane with stuns. The ET just has too tough a time trading. So I feel like Saberlight's going to have another free farm lane. I think the Phoenix Mars should do fine versus this Kunkka Techie. So I think that's the one lane for Aurora I think can do pretty well. And mid, I think, is just a wash. Uh, it really depends on, like, static linking versus Astral. I think Lornoff can also just go past the field, play for his own farm. See what he opts to do. Should get some decent damage stolen here, actually. Full duration. Yeah, I like that. Just run at him, get melee range, then uh, then grab him. Yeah, good start. Yopaj kind of had to commit for the, the range creeps, so. I missed it tonight. That was a little embarrassing, but we'll recover here. But I think the strength of Razor in this game is he can be an early BKB buyer. BKB is very good versus OD. Uh, but even if he gets it later, it's still very solid. And I think most of the items that Razor is going to opt for in this game are going to be nice because they're going to give him either survivability or attack speed, which is kind of just what you want here. You just want to tank up so when the Kunkka spells come through and the ET spirits there, you're just outlasting the nukes and then attack speed to kill the egg. And you're kind of solving most of the problems here. But a lot of that depends on you getting there. And once more, I think the strength of Shopify's lineup is like the early game scaling skirmish power especially with the supports that they get levels. If Phoenix Hoodwink get levels here, if they get another seven minute wisdom rune steal, you're you're gonna be in trouble because I don't know how you're winning those fights. Their spells are very strong in this game. So step one for Aurora, do not lose the laning phase as hard as you did last time. And they're already doing better, so. Yeah. Hats off to them. I will say this team, I, I feel like this team also rarely gets 2 owed. They had a lot of draws in the group stage, but I also yeah. think just historically over the last year and a half, they've been together. So many of those series on big lands. Not blood grenades. Two ones. Ooh, I thought he was going to go for it. And I feel like a lot of the games, in fact, they got eliminated from some of those tournaments. Like, you go back to Riyadh and stuff. Yeah. We're like really close to one series, right? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This team just rarely gets run over. So we'll see nice if they can grab. bounce back. Okay. As he was well, very low on HP, 23 gets surprised by a move from Theo Lacour. He is the best Morphling in the world, right? By his own <laughs> standards. <laughs> not by our standards. I mean, everybody's been there. Chance, but standards. Well, not anymore. That's for sure. Ooh, big fight for the flag bear. <laughs> big, big fight. 40 damage. <laughs> yeah, but imagine he misses that somehow. Imagining? I mean, if you if you missed the last hit with 40 stolen damage, that's when you... That's when you pause because it's Discord lag. And then, oh, oh server's glitching, guys. Yeah, Bet Boom was having a lot of problems with that earlier. <laughs> Keyboard's lagging. Output lag. What is happening, top man? Arteezy just not missed a CS or what? 22? Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Actually. This guy's in form today, man. He even bought a Sal. I think, uh, I don't want to jinx Shopify too much here, but well, I, do, just did. I do think it's really cool that uh, Crit and RTZ uh, split ways, but they both found success, Radiance right? Because I remember, I remember talking and I remember like Crit being like, oh, I really like these guys. I'd like to, you know, like win a TI with them. And I was like, that's really sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Still think that roster is a disaster, but I thought that, you know, okay. that's really sweet. 
And then, you know, they eventually decide, okay, we've got to split ways and stuff. And the fact that they can still find success on different teams is kind of nice. Yeah, I mean, Crit won a tournament. Yeah, and uh, uh, I, frankly, this is the most promising shop I've been in a while. So they, they do look good. They do look good. This team also just has a different vibe that seems more promising, you know? Yeah. We'll see what happens, though. Decent amount could be this guy right here, Yopaj. Yeah, he has looked beastly this tournament. It, it reminds me of, I mean, obviously his setup is similar, but he it reminds me of the early days with Abed, where so many of those games, he just had zero deaths. Mm. So many of the games in this tournament, Yopaj just has zero or one death. Yeah. His KDA is just out of control. He is the highest KDA player here for good reason. Land the blast. He does have a dive. And Kitrak will try and do his best to make sure they can get the kill on Q, and he's got him. Couldn't find the last bit of damage, and that'll be a good amount of XP going his way as Artor continues to just free farm this lane. Downside of this combo compared to, like, uh, Techies Mars, Kunkka doesn't, doesn't provide you the guaranteed uh, damage required to actually, you know, burst down the hero that you're going on. No, it's not the Centaur Techies, Axe Techies types lane. Yeah. We'll it does mean he could TP mid and help that out. 22 and 12 on Lornoff, so lots of denies on both sides. We're going to have some under-leveled mid laners. And six-minute power rune, so they're both going to fight for it. Give everybody soul XP here. Astral used early. We'll give him a free link here if he can connect it. And Kitrak just dives straight into it. So. Yeah, I can't believe Kitrak made that kind of commitment. The techies being here may have been a surprise. Maybe Thalecor could still get it, though. Bushwhack. They just need the vision. Hit it with a blood grenade. No Bosh. Nighttime vision plus trees. It's too much for him. And they get a second kill. Bringing down the Thealacor hoodwink. So this is what we wanted in that game one. Rotations to mid, shut down Yopaj a little bit instead of just giving him free reign, secure some power runes for Lornoff, get your supports activated. Much better start for Aurora, just in terms of activity. And they're doing a lot better in this lane phase by a wide margin, as long as they don't lose their seven minute wisdom rune. He morphed to Aji. Got him again, 23. Uh, Big slip ups here. Yeah, that is just a straight misclick. But that is a very costly second death. Like, this should be a free farm morphling lane at this point. You die level one or two, okay, whatever, but... At this point, you are giving Saberlight a very good start again. He is the most farmed hero on the map now. Which says a lot, considering his spend has almost 10 CS a minute here. A little bit of stacking, Kitrak sees what's going on, hits the blast off, missed Holy the goal. turret. Getting active. And they'll get it off the Tidebringer, Cleave. Give him that old right hook. <laughs> Golem's got some moves. Man, look at this Mars. Brutal. Lornoff went back to Fountain. I knew! He's 69, nice. I knew! This CS was abnormally high. Thank you for backing up my claim. 70 CS before eight minutes. The hell, this guy has gotta be on Molly or something. <laughs> this guy's crazy. <laughs> Lornoff. Ooh. Okay. Before Avery rudely interrupted, Lornoff walked back to base, missing 200 HP, but his entire mana pool. And I said that was going to be good timing for him because they were setting up to gank him in the mid lane. And then he TP'd back into that gank. So, even worse than just staying in lane. And those early game Astral kills are big for Odie. It's really nice when you can use the spell and get something out of it. Man, what? What is going on with our tour, man? I'm just watching this net worth. Out of control. Another tightbringer hit from Jabs, and it's a kill. Q, he'll die in return. One for one trade off. More gold into this Fen's pocket. Fen's getting fat. Of course. He has a couple stacks waiting for him at the Ancients, too. <laughs> God damn. Nice move, taking the Lotus from him. 
Look at it. Eat that Lotus the way he keeps on playing on uh, low HP. Got to spring a health now. Gank coming in. Techie's Elder Titan, not certainly not the most inspiring. I mean, some point in time, maybe you can hit the stomp and then set up mines, but... I mean, the team fight damage is pretty significant. For sure, for sure. Spirit buffing it all up. I mean, that's the one thing they have going for them. This is another ET lineup where... Oh, well, yes, I would expect that to also be true. <laughs> it's another one of those lineups where the spirit going in with the later points is, is going to be insane. With the Morphling damage, the Kunkka damage, the Techies damage. Two supports trying gank a Mars. We'll and squirrel on squirrel action. Dies. Dude, this taunt should be removed from the game. I'm yeah, I don't it. Like, like the fact that it makes them smaller. What is this, dude? Like, this was definitely some Christmas party. They went on too long at Valve, and some guy just <laughs> drunk as hell was like, you know what would be hilarious? Coded this in. Probably got a half a million dollar bonus for it. <laughs> <laughs> All because his joke name with the community was Outhouse Demolisher. Yeah. They're like, we gotta make a poop joke somewhere in there. I bet you our TZCS is the highest at <laughs> 11 minutes in, in this tournament so far. <laughs> oh! <laughs> God damn. I mean, he is insanely far. Like, I don't know what the hell happened up top, but apparently he just had an empty lane because he's a, he's about to have Mom Treads Bracer Echo at 12? What? <laughs> well, it's probably because at 12 minutes he'll have the highest CS at this tournament. So. That's true. I'm still waiting for the 11-minute one. Thank you. Ah, oh, there we go. Yes, yeah, still the highest. Now, wouldn't it be hilarious if we miss. got to like 13 and it was like not the highest? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, at some point he's not going to be the highest, probably because some sort of some team was crazy ancient stacking or something, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But it's hard to imagine he gets beat at this. Like, he's 150 CS and all. Like that is ridiculous. Now, Absolutely ridiculous. Shopify is only up by 1k net worth. You really are. I mean, this is... I haven't seen... I, I have not heard you well, speak uh, this much praise towards RTZ ever. And it's it's just him CS. Double damage. <laughs> I mean, this is just incredible. I don't know. This is a, this is a game of a lifetime right here. Shopify is only up by 1k net worth. You need to slow your goddamn roll here. Yeah, that go? <laughs> oh, we got the dueling glove. Too. Oh my god, he got the dueling glove too. That's like the best one here. The, the extra attack speed stuff. Woo! That feels good. You gonna make a gate rotation? Maybe? Production, stop, stop, <laughs> follow, stop following what A Freeze talking about. Look at this. Stop this. Fancy moves coming out. Gonna catch the ah, surprise! Chain stunned. Ooh, that's a juicy one. Dude, he's so big. He got another kill. <laughs> that's more CS. Kobolds, that's even more CS. Dude. Gene, how you got me doing it? God damn it. Oh, and he got a. Oh, he got that stack off. Radiance <laughs> bottom tower is under attack. Oh, they stacked this camp for him. He just ults it. What's happening top? There's some... Oh, yeah, who cares? What about RTZ CS? Bo coming in. Oh, RTZ's back a here. Techies to help him. Never mind. Oh, he's going for that ghost camp. You got <laughs> get that, get that CS. <laughs> oh, he didn't get that one. It was in crucial CSing time here, boys. Opaj rolling his way in. He should secure that. No problem. Off. Oh, raindrop. Hard time finding an opening here, yeah. Raindrop bubble. Bubbles save lives. I think that item's uh, still Radiant's too good. It definitely lost some value with the region nerf. I think that was a big part of it, but... I just feel like inherently that mo that a shield like that is just so good. It's pretty nice. Well, we're still cruising here. 
Thank you. Thank you for the update. All right, now they're actually beginning to stretch a little bit more of a net worth lead after that one. Stabilite's got a blink dagger. Wants to make a move on mid. They keep on looking for plays on mid. I feel like with with uh, Arteezy making that rotation earlier and stuff, but... He, he's been everywhere. I mean, Shopify have no issue farming up a bit. Especially the pace they're setting here. A tournament record pace. For CS at the 15 minute. <laughs> Orchid done for Yopash. He's also in a very good spot. I mean, Jabs finishes BKB here. So, as farmed as this Fen is, Kunkka's, he's right there with him. And in theory, very strong in the fight right now. As the arena will not kill off the Elder Titan. So, Aurora getting some breathing room here. Time to, to use their strength that they can get a good team fight out of it. You don't want to overextend into this egg, but... I do feel like you want to strike soon. Because this is this is happening, and this is this is illegal. Yeah, where's the smoke gank into triangle? I mean, I guess Artizis moved around the map so much that... Hard to know exactly when and where you need to move. They're going to go up top right now where Kitrak is trying to hold this tower. Level 7 Phoenix. Torrent. Got the vision with the X and he is good to die. Nice little pickoff. You just want more XP for the ET right now. Get those aura points up. Clear through another quick stack and now he's going back for more. This is going to be a really early BKB, mm. in which case, all the more important that Lorinoff mm, yes. is able to uh, 30. kite around and take away some of the damage of this Fen. This is what peak Sven looks like right here. Are you no, higher. Just, you're acting like a, you're a carry player right now. Okay. Like, how are you not amazed by what's happening right now? I don't understand. You got the skelly voice, too. I, I, like, some of it is luck. He's also gotten, like, a lot of Whatever, color man. camps and stuff. Life's the luck. Know? Luck is just what you make of a situation. And those who complain about luck don't have the skills to reap the reward. In other words, mad cause bad. <laughs> it's level 15, too. He's got the levels to back it up, man. Yeah, that's true. 15 by 17. Kind of similar to that pace that we were talking about yesterday. But again, only up 4k net worth. Plenty of Aurora heroes are getting something. Yeah. So my biggest concern is, like, didn't feel the impact of the Pango in the first uh, 20 minutes last game. Not feeling the impact of the Razor no in this game. We'll Almost survive, had him, but 23 does manage to stay up. And now he has Link. That's big that he lives there. Really big. That was a lot of time invested in that gank. You also just can't afford your Morphling dying too many more times in this game. You're pushing towards that Torn Storm. That's going to be your big team fight prowess. So maybe Aurora are happy just kind of stalemating the map as they usually are, waiting for their big team fight to come online. How are we looking on the ET levels? Uh, he's still level only seven, so we're still missing some natural order that you'd want up. But he's getting there, and it's a smoke Dyer's into mid. Bringing the Kunkka, still Dyer's wanting to use this jab's yet. BKB. 18 minute power rune, they were smoked up for it. I have to go to the other side of the map. Some mines went off, so they might have an idea of uh, what Shopify's up to here. Jabs goes down for it, picks up the illusion rune. They try and pin him, they got him inside the arena and they burst him down. A tanky Kunkka, apparently no match for this many stuns and this much damage coming from the Sven. 460 damage when he pops God Strength. And they'll nab the techies as well. So it's not Aurora getting some momentum with that smoke. Instead, it is Shopify. One kill turns to a second, and a second turns to a third. And they'll take the tower now. Big move. Uh, they're just rolling again. Aurora still can't get a solid fight going for them in this series. Shopify just reading their moves, bringing the better numbers, ready there with the right heroes. He can't look easy right now. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Okay, but what is our TCCS at 19 minutes, though? 
270. Radiant are scanning. Absolutely insane. Can we get a reflection of net worth? By this time? All right, that's a good pickoff. Okay. We don't have that technology, Austin. It's got to be up there. Orchid BKB Scythe is what Yopaj's build-up is going to be in this game. I feel like it's, uh, they've got 11 kills in 20 minutes. I, I just don't feel like you should be able to do that with Sven OD. Right? I feel, I feel like having both of them on the same team uh, usually means your, your lineup's a little slow. Can't really accomplish that much in the early. Uh, Artor made the early gate move Radiance bottom, helped a lot, slow down the morph. Attack. Then you had this early Orchid, so OD's happy to take fights. Not that slow of a build. Upside is the OD doesn't need triangle or ancients at all. If you're not stealing each other's farm. And the OD is the poorest core in the game. Yopaj has taken a, a step back here. It's true. Kind of has to, I guess, between the way that Sableite has been uh, playing with the uh, having RTZ on the same team. Blink BKB, or excuse me, just Blink Spear, but he has a BKB on Sableite. And Jabs was farming enemy ancients. Might have to BKB here. He made it in. And he'll only make it out. That's his first usage. Ugh. Nine to what? Sorry, TZ fans. Yeah, I don't know about that one. A lot of uh, Sven enjoyers. A lot of people like watching CS number go up. Like you. Those numbers were made possible by viewers like you. And by cars, vitamin gummies. <laughs> Hashtag ad. Man, Aurora really just don't do anything. <laughs> yeah, they're a really passive team. Well, they're going to catch jabs at the... They're waiting for you, son. Yeah. Oh. Awaits <laughs> you on the other side of that X. That's a sad looking death right there. Well, they got Ro Oh, Sean for Shopify during that. I, okay. He just soloed it. <laughs> he just soloed it. I was like, oh, they got Roshan. I thought for Aurora, because, like, you know, no, this game is. Ben was top. This game is spiraling, man. It's just like game one. They made a couple moves, Shopify read them, and then they just fell back on farming. Which. In this game, their initiation's very weak, right? I don't really know how you start fights. None of their heroes do it. But you can maybe take defensive fights if Shopify went into you. I just feel like it only happened at that, like, rune battle, and that was just not even close. Daedalus! He's going to one-shot somebody in this Yeah, game. He, he's going to one-shot this morph. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Well, 23, you're going to have to play a pretty ratty game, it seems. I mean, there's still still team fight potential in this Aurora lineup. Yeah, they still have Kunkka Razor. Yeah. They just need the Aghanim Scepter and BKB. BKB is, is done. Aghanim Scepter just needs Ooh. another, like, 800 gold. That was close. That was kind of close. It's almost level 20 again. This is similar pace to last game. I don't know, like, you're, you're getting this Razor BKB, but he gets, like, three shop from this Sven. And there's the possibility that Saberlight gets him with the Spear into Arena, so kind of, like, kind of a Blink instance done. You have to really be careful about how these fights starts if you're Aurora and you want to come back in this game. You, you have to really either bait out the Morph, get a Waveform off with the Lincoln's proc, or force multiple jumps in where you can land a big stomp. Kind of set up like Earth Splitter into Techies Jump into Link. 
Yeah. Because if, if you overstep, right, there is a save from the OD and yes. the the supernova. Which I think is, you aggressively taking a fight is kind of just off the table. So in order to push it late, you have to maintain at least half the map and then be ready to take defensive fight on a ward when it comes into you, which is doable. Their, their lineup is very good at that. And if you're shot by Rebellion, you need to not overextend and make sure you use your BKBs properly. It'll be Theolacor picking up the Gleipner as usual, so a little extra scaling damage there as well. I will say these games as Razor, I think, feel... There's something about them that feels a little bad. I think you'd rather be fighting with this hero, particularly out of the mid. They'll find nothing as Saberlight misses. Misses the Blink Spear combombination, and Shopify will pay for it. The torrent lands on Kitrek as he was That's trying nice to swoop stomp. in, and the stomp lands on Yopaj. This is perfect for Aurora. Can they take the OD life a second time? Does manage to get the Blink away before the Plasma Field can click him, but they got the Liquor on the side. So, both supports yeah. down, and they take away the Aegis from Shopify Rebellion. Not too shabby. Yeah, it's a kind of deep fight near Aurora's Tier 2. 23 actually gets to play his hero. And suddenly, you know, it doesn't take too many of those for this game to look very different. The comeback potential in this lineup, I think, is definitely there this time. There's a world where you can outscale Shopify Rebellion here and win those late game fights. Where I think last game, that was... I just didn't see the, the vehicle to do it. This game, it is there with this Elder Titan backing up such an overwhelming amount of magic damage. Your team fight's going to be scary. And Sven is a hero that can suffer in those late game fights when you get kited around. If you land the spear, it might look very different. But unfortunately, you didn't. The Astral dodges the own Hoodwink ultimate here. And then, yeah, you're just going to burn through an Aegis here. Torn Storm plus Earth Splitter. Those right. vitamins not doing much for you there. Probably need to take a few more. Oh, he's going to put them back. I see. <laughs> Yeah, after that spear, I don't blame him. <laughs> like a bird. Aggressive Ancient Steel. I mean, Arteezy has BKB. Is there anything that they can do to BKB? They don't have a single BKB piercing stun. I mean, what happened Better to Jabs? Splitter, I guess. How did Jabs die? Uh, Arteezy caught him while they were... While well, we were watching the Vitamin Ancient Gummies, area. huh? Okay. Yeah. Good to know. He was weak from not having the gummies, obviously. Must have got a crit. Yeah. Two crits. Two out of those five. That's not too bad. Man, Arteezy has been owning. Haters in shambles. You're in shambles? I'm not an Arteezy hater, man. <laughs> Radiant are scanning. Now I was, but not <laughs> I was. <laughs> but after this game and this CS performance. Oh, what's the CS at? Can we get another record check? The uh, 27, 420 blaze it. <clears throat> he's got four kills, four assists, and four denies. Lucky number four. Guess it's my shout. Not according to Chinese, but he, he's just been god strengthening aggressively, just taking towers, not afraid to look for solo kills. I mean, that tells me there, there's something wrong. If you're able to just god strength off cooldown hitting CS and objectives, like, that means there's no pressure on you. There's no threat. Yeah. He's playing like he is untouchable. And so far, he has been untouchable. Now, this is the part on Sven I'm always interested in seeing. Like, what do you buy from here? Because selling mom can feel kind of bad if you're not going some sort of attack speed item. But at the same time, the hero kind of functions without attack speed. So, you know, you can go the Satanic, you can go the MKB, you can go the Ags. It's always interesting to see what people opt for here. Quick item check. Closing in on that Conda for 23. And yeah. Good item check. Good item check. Q's like, well, we got all the time in the world. I'm just going to set up a bunch of mines. Play I mean, for a second, Roshan. If they can take a Roche fight, it's very good for their lineup. 
very good. If you force Shaw Fight to jump into you, into a bunch of mines, into a, a stomp, make the Sven jump in deep. So his BKB counts for a little less value. That is a good situation for you. Will be Satanic here. Hex for the Mars, so... Big late game items coming in for Shopify Rebellion is Lornoff looking for a refresher. Yeah, that I mean that's the mm. the big concern, right? OD is scary hero late game. They have a Sven, scary hero late game. I don't believe Morphling carries this. So you really gotta get a move on it oh, on this Austin. second Roshan, which is what I would expect Aurora to be doing. Oh, Austin, another foolish mistake in a long line of them. No, a Morphling does not carry this game. Uh-huh. 23 Savage Morphling can carry you mean, you any mean the same guy who died twice in lane? Radiant the best scary. Morphling in the world lulls you into a false sense of security. Oh, I dub. Believe me, I'm being lulled right now. It's it's midnight, and I'm I'm <laughs> I'm falling asleep waiting for... <laughs> Lauren off and, and Aurora I to bet make you didn't a move even here. See that arena try and catch him. Cause that morphling was out of there so fast. <laughs> That's the speed and reaction you'd expect from twenty-three Savage. The greatest morphling player ever. <laughs> There's Kitrak tipping our tour for closing in on the five hundred CS mark. He says, Well played, sir. <laughs> You have you have gotten the record for most CS at 30 minutes. We're very proud of you. Wait, he hasn't got the record at 30 <laughs> minutes? Yeah, he does. How would he not? I don't know. We don't have the graphic for it. He's got 500 at 30. That's some burning Medusa levels. All right, big smoke. Big smoke. To the bottom lane. The problem is, is that Shopify... 500. Round of applause, everybody. Hey! He congratulations, RTZ! Yay! Everybody clap and chat. Scanning. Yeah. Yay. Smoke for Roshan. Question is, can they get there in time? RTZ, if he pops God Strength, might do it pretty quickly. Bottom tower, so he can't even get here in time. Oh, no. Are you still going to take this fight without your morph? You have Refresher Razor. Arteezy, he knows he they're coming. He wants he to be able to finish it up. The boat's coming in. Oh, no, no, he got pushed away by the Tidal Wave. This is a free Roshan what a for stop. Aurora. They're going to be able to take it and the banner get away. Now the BKBs are running a little thin. Lord, I've actually had a Refresher. He pops Man, another round. Strong. He is doing some serious damage. And he's kind of Ben. Look at him go back. Okay, that's going to be his first life. And now 23 Savage is here to be able to join in to clean up the rest. Something actually happened in this game. Holy shit. <laughs> Lorinov had a refresher. Yeah, he finished it for that fight. Wow. And it did work, and they got a banner too. He just on the razor, so Arteezy kills him once, but he just comes back. He drains so much damage off him. And they got the gem off Kitrek. An absolute disaster around the pit for Shopify Rebellion as they get nothing out of that in what was basically a four on five because 23 couldn't even get there until the second half of that fight. That's exact. I mean, sick move by Jabs. Oh, yeah. But also, that bash was... That was a legendary bash right there. Yeah. Roshan yeah. did him a huge favor. Just lock, chain locked him into the torrent shard... Knock him out of the pit. No BKB for you. So he didn't have Tidal Wave. It was just what? The push of adaptive... Uh, no, he wasn't there. What pushed, what pushed Sven out of the pit? I mean, he either got forced or... Did he ogre seal he totem? him down. He wanted to leave? There's no way he towed him down, right? We need a replay of that fight. All I know is I saw a bunch of splashing, and I swear to God, I thought he got Tidal Wave. Yeah, he towed him. He just left the pit. Didn't want to get linked, but that gave up Roche. I mean, there's a world you BKB just finish Roche and then take the fight, right? Very interesting idea. I don't know if it paid off and caused off by a lot here. Big team fight win for Aurora.
They like these kind of games, these slow crawls to the late game, where the best Morphling player in the world can take it over. Another nice stop hits the OD. Reactive Taser stopping the follow-up damage. Still caught him inside the arena, though. So he'll die eventually thanks to the Satanic dispelling off that disarm. Those Shopify wasting very little time. They're like, whatever. It was a little speed bump. Truthfully, they only lost a couple heroes in that pit. It was like maybe a 4,000 gold exchange. But that was a game ender if they got everything for that. And this Fen is 25. He has his talent. He has his Satanic finished off the mask. And he went back for AC off the Soul Deco. So you're, you're peaking right now. This is one of those games where you don't want the Razor Shard. You do not want to be pulling that spell. <laughs> oh, I was, like, you. I was like, huh? I mean, I mean you'll still take yeah. it. But... I guess the only other thing for Shopify would be a Lotus. Like, reflecting that Link would be a big deal if the Link is still going to be focused onto the Sven, which, I mean, that's why you picked this matchup. Another TC. aggressive god strength into totem away. Did not like what he saw. One swipe on the flag, and that's all he did. <laughs> yeah, fuck your flag. <laughs> I'm out of here. Later, nerds. I don't know, man. This team fight's looking spooky with the spirit going through on everything. You have double Lincolns now. Double drain with Torrent Storm. This is scary, and they're getting a, a good flank here on these two heroes' bottom, including this OD. He does have BKB and Blink. Oh, but oh, he teepeed. But he teepeed. What? And 20. Oh. Okay. That is... Uh, what? That's a rough one. I don't know where his uh, strength adaptive strike was, but... Apparently am I in. Uh. Well, they're going to get aggressive. See if they can take this tier one tower that's still up. I think I saw him coughing there, so. Oh, he had a coughing fit. It's probably some uh, IRL lag. Otherwise known as a choke, but. I won't call it that. He did, just, he did not press the button, so. Unlock, unlucky. Unlucky. That's what we used Happens to say. Happens to the best. Yeah, unlucky. Best. All right. Refresher up next for, apparently, I mean, <laughs> Shopify. Probably just going to have to wait for another Roshan before you go high ground. Because I, I mean, going high ground. Are you happy waiting in this game, though? I don't know, man. Yeah, at some point, it's going to be, like, refresher, double torrent. At this point, the extra net worth on this Fen is not nearly as valuable as it used to be. Yeah, no. he's going to start getting diminishing returns because he yeah. is third flooded with a Swip Blink coming in to replace his treads. So any item he gets from here is pretty much some sort of major diminishing returns. And these Selling Lincolns. items or eating an Ags. These Lincolns are a problem. All three cores have one. You have double Manta as well between the Razor and the Morph. That's a lot of single target disjoint to get through with a Storm Hammer and this Orchid Hex. You have nothing else. I, mean, I guess double Hex, but it means you kind of just have to pop them. Not, I don't think either of these supports can reliably pop these Lincoln Spears for you. It's really hindering your initiation power. I mean, this classic Aurora right here. 40 minutes? That's just when the game starts. Yeah, the early game is about to end. Yeah, for, the, for them, the laning stage is over. <laughs> They're now entering the Aurora mid-game. Almost 700 CS. Damn. 
23's almost got 500 of his own. He's catching up, man. He's only 5,000 net worth attack. behind RTZ. Dyer are scanning. I still... Conda done. ...am concerned about the fact that they're... I feel like I haven't really seen too much impact out of Yopaj in these last couple of fights, but he will eventually. Like, he'll find a position to lay damage on people. This hero's really bad versus BQB. Yeah, but this hero messes up a Morphling. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Uh, yeah, if you can start on him. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Otherwise, no, I mean, Morphling can mess you up. You have no armor. He just chunks you. That's not true. He's got, he's got 27 armor. That's not enough. Dyer's top tower. Cody's a weird hero, man. This hero either just demolishes people in the late game or he gets demolished. He's got a parasma now, Dyer's so single target. Yeah, that helps. Up. That helps a lot. That's the biggest item on this hero for sure. Radiant. We'll I kind of... I think you need Scythe on Mars. I, I kind of feel it. like you need harder initiation. Oh, he does have it. No. That's what I'm saying. They like have the Scythe, next? but they just don't have any single target spells to break these things. And now, Aurora are the ones forcing Roshan. Scotty done for 23 here. Level 23. Shopify, they're running, they're running, they're running. Aurora. They're going to get here. They, uh, they're not going to do this fast enough, it looks like. They're all jammed in the corner, too. I mean, if you get an arena egg got here. Him on the tree. Boy, Perfect bushwhack from Thea LaCour. That just creates the opening for Shopify to cruise through this part of the fight. Lord no, does manage to get away with the ages, but Shopify win the fight and they managed to stop the lord off tp what a read from saberlight did he have vision of him he saw him run in that direction but yeah he just guessed and no bkb for six you six spear six stuff did get everything off the roche so it wasn't a complete disaster but 23 savage does get caught off guard actually refresher shard went to our tour they left that behind that's a big item to leave behind You'll be happy to use that in some sort of base siege. Get a second god strength. Use it right now. Hit the buildings with it. See if Aurora has buyback on their heroes. We know the Morphling doesn't. He just pops it, yeah. I don't know. I feel like that's the one way you don't want to fight to go is them starting on your Morphling. Like, there were no mines scouting it. There was no spirit scouting it. Yeah. They're just letting the morph tank the jump, but that is very risky, and the risk does not pay off here. They open up the high ground. Yeah, but who does want a front line? I feel like even the Kunkka, who's, like, the tankiest, you really need that Torrent Storm to go off in the fight, you know? Yeah, I mean, in theory, it's this Razor, but... I guess the hexes are just too spooky for anyone to frontline. In that case, you just want to smoke and then create a situation where it's both people popping and you can just get your items off. Right, so maybe they should have done the exit pit smoke wraparound sort of deal. Uh, I don't know. It's like, you know, that situation can go in a million ways. 23 gets a Manta or a Waveform off. You're very happy in that situation. Just whoever's faster. Does cost you a lane of racks here. Costs you a decent amount of net worth. But you did technically get that Roshan out of Shopify Rebellion's hands. Which is worth something, I guess. 23k net worth advantage. Now draw out the game a little bit more. I'm surprised, yeah, Jabs is going to buy it now. Uh, I would have thought Aghanim Shard would have been way higher priority. When you're you have two right-clicking carries on the enemy side. What is happening on this Tormentor, dude? What am I watching? Is, right uh... <laughs> uh, you can't go... Oh, my God. He had to it pop BKB lost. in order to do the... This Morphling just BKB'd in his base because he lost the... One v one to the torment. Yeah, just just GG though, <laughs> man. Twenty three Savage just lost to a tormentor, guys. It <laughs> it's still up. 
<laughs> so what happened? He, he was doing the Tormentor, and he was getting low HP, so he started morphing strength, but the Tormentor started out healing his damage. I hope we have a replay of that. And then the Techies came in to try and help him finish it, but he was so low that he was afraid he was going to die, so he popped BKB and ran away. And now Shopify is probably going to take that Tormentor away from him. And now they sneak out. And they have them all, so it's just gold. Yeah, which as a result, Jabs has to buy his shard. What a bizarre game. Not 23 Savage's finest Morphling performance, I think. No. Still time to pull it back, but so far it is it has been a struggle. That is for sure. He's doing some sneaky plays here. Hey, Tormentor, <laughs> 23 Savage versus Tormentor round two. They want the Razor 25 over his. Interesting decision. Will cost a BKB, but get some closer. Uh, isn't that usually the... Is that oh, they went in for the attack speed? Yeah, I mean, I guess the attack speed it would be really big. That's a much bigger deal against the Sven than stealing his attack damage, right? It is a really big talent for the hero. Like, e even in the situations where the enemy attack speed doesn't matter, getting the attack speed on Razor is really big. Yeah, okay. And here it goes both ways, right? Stealing it from the OD or the Sven is super nice in this game. It is a very big talent if he can land these long duration links. Uh-oh. Nice trap set up. He gets off the BKB, though, imprisons the Sven, and makes a run for it. Wait for him up in a couple seconds. He's going to need it. Lincolns blocks out a little bit more. The waveform gets just over that little crevasse there. Arena tries to catch jabs. Misses out on the spear, though, so he gets BKB and runs away. Unsuccessful gank on the greatest Morphling player in the world. 23 Savage. And the banner dropped top, so they saved that for a long time. Makes sense. They had to make sure that uh, Shopify wouldn't be able to just. It's also a lot of mines in this base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's which is a good and a bad thing. It means Q's been stuck here for a while, but makes the high ground defense a bit more formidable. Yeah, it, it's going to take a crap ton of mines for RTZ to die. He's got 4,400 HP, and he is very likely the person to be running through all those. 25 talent is there for the Razor, as it is for all of Shopify Rebellion's cores. Double damage. This is a this is a classic Aurora game right here. <laughs> We're entering the mid game, solid mid game for them right now. We just hit another 13 minutes till Aurora hits their power spike. Can we get a? Uh, RTZ CS <laughs> record check, please. They didn't the, have it at 35 minutes. I don't think they have the it at 47th minutes. minute. This is the fastest. Once again, trying to find the initiation at uh, that bottom lane for 23 Savage. Couldn't get it. Couldn't get it, but it got another BKB charge out of him, which is surprising that Aurora, having just used that BKB, are still going to try and smoke push out and see if they could take a fight. But I guess God's Strength is going to be on cooldown soon. Yep, it's a good window. I think you're happy to take any fight without God's Strength this game, but of course, with no initiation, it's almost impossible to get that. They might find Yopaj. Nope. Who was I kidding? Yopaj gonna go refresher next. No eggs, huh? Uh, I don't think he's too afraid of getting jumped. I mean, who's gonna jump him? Yeah, I guess so. Bulba. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys win? <laughs> <laughs> Almost level 25 for jabs. Q's setting up the second base. Oh, here's our initiation. Blind Torrent. Blind Didn't Torrent that one. into... He got jumped. Blast off. Should have bought the axe. <laughs> okay. 
imprisons himself into a blink away with a BKB still up, but Lorna oh was well God. positioned to chase him down. That kill was worth so much gold. Wow. Holy shit. Mamma mia. Well, all right. That was the action for the last 10 minutes. I'll see you in another 10. No, no. We got we got Roshan that spawns in 20 seconds. I mean, honestly, great find. In fact, they... Because they have no initiation, you just got to land a torrent. All right. Almost up to the ghost fleet. Roshan's going to uh, spawn on Dire side, but then very quickly go through the other way. Aurora. They got the waveform talent too from that. So these are these are big upgrades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, oh, net worth lead doesn't mean much. Did, did you see what he did? He sent his spirit through the gate. Yeah, you can do that. And uh, got got vision of them over there. It's it's a very nice trick. I don't know why you can do that, but it is cool. Well, he needs to do it again here, cause Roche is uh, going away and Odie is dead. So they can arena block it. Yeah, yeah. but the spirit, the stomp. Imagine if he could claim the last hit. I'm surprised they let them do that, man. I mean, I know there's an OD buyback threat on that outpost. Going through that gate is pretty terrifying. Damn, giving up that Roshan of five on four scenario it feels a little bad. That's one of those Roshan spawns that you just like, if it spawns 20 seconds later, yeah, it's guaranteed for Aurora. Sure. Let me Aegis cheese. Aegis to the Sven cheese to the OD. Another banner. Another Miss Spear. Well, wow. can't just catch the greatest Morphling player in the world. You really like saying that. <laughs> he said it. I didn't say it. If he says it, I can say it. However much I want. Okay. Well, that, I mean, that's the you stop saying from his perspective. Now everyone just thinks the you think he's the greatest Marvel player in the world. He has had some crazy games on the hero. He is very, very good on the uh, hero. For sure. Thanks for Sven. Be eaten here. We'll just have to wait to see uh, Aurora versus uh, OG. They should both get a uh, Morphling game. One apiece. Oh. Stay really hits that one. It's but immediately wow. a stomp in response from Ollie protecting Lornoff. What is he refresh? Refresh just to keep this what? razor away. And does keep him locked in. Well, what off. was the point of that? Might have might have thought his team was gonna be able to rotate team rotate in time. Might have just been scared for his life. Dyer are scanning. Alright. Yeah, have a spear of your own. I'm out of here. Who's out of here? Because not 23, not yet. Oh, he's got the waveform cooldown, right? Later. So that'll help him. Which way to scout? 40k gold lead, but it feels even. Yeah, ish. Classic Aurora. <laughs> Classic Aurora right here. Got him right where we want him, boys. At the 40k deficit, that's... Fell right into their trap. When we have 50 mines set up. up in our base. Finally, Saberblade just bought a basher. He's done with this BKB TP nonsense. You know what? Next time you do this, I'm going to bash your face. Violent, but appropriate. Then he can refresh the basher cooldown. Oh. Do it again. Does it even work? <laughs> I assume it does, but... I have no idea. Does Refresher refresh inner item cooldowns? I doubt it. Because, as you said, internal cooldowns, so kind of doubt it. That is a that is a lot of mines, I must say. <laughs> Somebody count them up for us. How many mines will be
be in the Radiant base before oh, Shopify is, push high ground. This is a classic Southeast Asian game right here. Hey, if you think we're going late into the night, remember this is game Ooh. two. So if Aurora successfully makes minutes. a comeback. That's the original one. See, they thought, they thought they'd get me. <laughs> I'm just waiting until he hits 1,000, and we're going to throw him a birthday party. Yeah. You got a Marilyn Monroe no. sing happy birthday, Mr. President, to him? I bet he'd like that. I'm still waiting for that replay of the 1v1 Tormentor fight. If we had that from the second game. We don't have that? Are you kidding me, man? That was, <laughs> that was the best moment of the game. <laughs> don't anger production, neighbor. Mike. Who's Mike? <laughs> <laughs> You're so dumb. See, all these viewers are like, oh, this game's so long. But we casted games like this for a year and a half. Yeah, we we, we, have, <laughs> we had the hyperbolic training. <laughs> We've been molded in the fires of Z-Dota. I've just been pacing myself. Because I knew one of these games in the series was going to go 80 minutes. That's the thing. You think this game's going to end in like five? <laughs> <laughs> nah, fools. We got another 30 here at least. I mean, that, that is the fun part about it, is that I feel like so many times, 60 minutes hit, and you get one team fight with the items, the game's over. But see, Dota, you actually get to play like a whole nother Dota game yeah. just with 60 minute items. I mean, it's because you always save buybacks, of course. You know, now we're, we're at the stage where we're Xing Morphling out of base to clear waves. Stableite bought this Basher to stop the BKB TPs, but little does he know. <laughs> Nobody's they're, leaving the base. They're not going to leave their base until 60 minute neutral items. <laughs> but that's when the bots, too, plus. Can I get a. Uh, a pistol? RTZCS check, please. I believe we're at 900. <clears throat> there we go. 900, ladies and gentlemen. No, Still having a perfect game, by the way. Zero deaths. Wow. What a stat line right there, man. Four denies on top of it. Mm. <laughs> Big numbers. <laughs> <laughs> he's going Wind Waker. I mean, he still needs to eat a Moon Shard. He's going Moon Shard. He's not, he's not going anything at this point. He still needs a refresher. He's going to a psychologist. That's where he's going. He's going to need it after this game. Why? I, I feel like he's having the best time. Ooh, look at this. Belt. X wave four. Oh, oh, oh he pinned him, but he was still X'd. Still, good reaction to protect the OD, I suppose. Though maybe a bit of an overreaction. Supernova now being on cooldown. Broke through the Lincolns. Wind Waker He's going, going out. Lord off. He's not sure if he That's wants to Lotus. go in or out. Can't link the Lotus. Finally yeah. got one. That's going to be one BKB. What about they another fresh, BKB? Another one. Shopify trying to kite out a second BKB, and they are successfully doing it. Can't link anything, man. I mean, Aurora, Aurora, I'm surprised they're even still out on the map at this point in time. You've used both. The mines. The mines. The mines. Oh, oh Arteezy down to half health. 23. Cannot stay close to him, though. And nice they have wave. the Sunray. That's also a problem. The deeps. So much damage between Lornoff. And 23, they cut Saberlight down pretty easily there. Another team fight win eked out in the face of defeat. 40k net worth. Aurora, do not care. I mean, eventually, eventually they're going to get, like, the Yules catch on this X marks his spot. I don't think so, man. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He said Lorinoff doesn't want the shard. Well, he got given one by you turn it. You can turn it off, so it doesn't matter. Oh, okay, okay. At this point, though, he probably probably just wants it. He did look pretty, pretty powerful, especially with that Wind Waker. That'll help. No, what you don't want is you don't want to Lotus Link somebody here because... Yeah, that would be disastrous if you, you did that to OD. You can BKB the OD, but yeah, it sucks. The Sven one can kill him. No, this is not the one I wanted. Though it did almost kill them again. Still has a Grove Bow, by the way. I'd like to point that out. We are approaching 60 minutes. He does? And the OD still has Grove Bow. 
That's... This guy still got a filly. You know, I don't know, man. Uh, they keep on changing they some items, fillies. but they don't... They don't tackle, like... I feel like the actual OP ones. It's because... The lower tiers, man. Pub Dota is ruining. Yeah. It's like this Herald bracket. Grove Bow is like 40% win rate. Like, oh, we... <laughs> we can't nerf it. Well, that's fair. Big waveform. Gets hexed. Gets hexed. See you later. Thought that was going to be a team fight. Nah. Get on my level, son. Hexed, hexed. Send him a text. Send the Razor Illusion in. Do a little scouting. Do a little X and back to deal with some lanes. Come back. And that was his TP, so it's kind of locked up here now. Seems un like an unassailable position for a lineup with no initiation. Man, it is funny. Aurora, last time, right, they lose this Roshan because it spawns on Dire Sight just before it switches over. So now they're committed. They're like, all right, we're going to fight on this Dire Side one. But now Roshan is going to spawn on the Radiant side. Honestly, I don't so even So they're think set up on the wrong spot again. I don't even think Rosh matters. I feel like the tier five neutrals matter more than Roshan. Well, they nobody has thoughts to use it. To Everybody has buyback anyway. Okay, got a link. Got a, a link. A really good one on this Mars. Yeah. He is not going anywhere fast. Pops the BKB, but a that just gives an damage. opportunity for Lornoff to beat him down. The walls and the supernova. Oh, though he's ran into the spin. Oh, spear through, but it's enough. They got him in the end. Yo. Meanwhile, a stomp on the side hit a lot of heroes there. That Axe Dispel did work. Turn into the OT. Take the Sven just out dying. of the team fight, but it's too much damage. What was that? The secondary carry came into play. I told you the OD would just shit on the Morphling, and that's what he did. BKB is going it. out all over the place. Go ship Doesn't fleet. have it. Bop the Kunk gun. They're just running over heroes oh. of Aurora now. Mass buybacks, perhaps. Q couldn't even TP out in time. Did they lose anybody in that fight? No. They almost lost Saberlight, but... That was pretty much just Lornoff soloing him. His Wind Waker got dispelled. He got stuck in the pit by the Ag Svenhammer. That was so close to being an amazing engage disengage. Just ruined. And now Roshan will go Rebellion's way if they want it. I don't even know if they want it, dude. I'm telling you, this thing is not even that good anymore. Tier six, new, tier five neutral items. We're not at tier six yet. Saw a giant's ring. Oh, mirror shield. That, giant razor. That's he's a massive big. one. Yeah, he's a big boy. Oh, playing along the cliff beautifully. Unfortunately, can't stop the imprisoned blink. That's always going to be a problem here. Book of the Trash I've sent got, in. I've got hiccups for this next team fight. That's very exciting. They did get the Morphling buyback. They got the Razor buyback. They got the Kunkka buyback. That's all three on cooldown. It's time to go. Time to push Mirror Shield on the Sven. You gotta yeah, be careful. Pulls him in with a tidal wave. Sven Double going block. for it. W Wind Waker does manage to dodge some of it. BKB from Lornoff is forced. Lincoln's Wind Waker. Very strong here. That's that God Strength used. Can you chase into the mines? <laughs> There's so many mines. Another attempt at his title away. Wave. Doesn't quite get it. Tries to go for He's the spear. So back. Saber light jumping in. So, so many mines. They're blowing up all over the place. Yopash trying to make his initiation, but he has to move backwards. Jabs chal challenging him. Trying to get the X on any of these heroes. Got on Thea Lacour. Looks like. Oh, that was the X. Never Fooled mind. Deep Koi fooled even me. Oh, God! Mines. mines after mines! 23 Savage does manage to finally get that sneaky sleep. little twirl. Big and they sleep. got the sleep onto the OD. They'll knock him down. The Ags. The Ags. He'll have a chance to blink here. But he does not get it off. Yo, man, man just solve your hiccups, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna Jeez. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Go stand upside down <laughs> or something. <laughs> Drink water from a funnel. I don't know. Whatever people say. Radiant are scanning. 63 minute mark. We are looking for the items. Neutral creeps. That's what it's all about. What is the Sven CS check? I need it right now. A thousand! He's done it! He has unlocked the final stage of Dota 2! 
Egg trying to clear them off. Lord off refreshes. He's looking for the links, but he can't get it because the load is too powerful. Egg exploding on everybody. Austin, help me. <laughs> uh, more fling. <laughs> He's locked in for now. They're trying to put damage onto him. No problem there. He's They're, gone, oh, no, no buy. The that's support's it. trying to come in and bail him out, I guess, because they didn't have buyback, and so that's just it. We waited I took 15 my... minutes for this fight, and you goddamn missed it. <laughs> that's not my fault. I had hiccups, man. I've never had hiccups before. In a You're cast. more useless than this goddamn Morphling <laughs> the entire game. My god. You mean the best Morphling in the world? He just got completely shut down. Sunray, Lord off. Oh, they pull him back into the oh, fountain alive. shore. God but they need running. to somehow taunt Shopify into the fountain this to be able over. to fight this out. That's Three it. versus five, and they're going to call it oh. GG. Oh.